Hey guys, Forbidden here, bringing you an audio commentary. Um, so as you can tell in this game, I'm playing Zoo, and I took a mulligan. Um, I think it had one land, and it wasn't the land that I, that I needed, so um, I had to take a mulligan. But here we go. Um, I'm playing against an unknown opponent. You know. I mean, I, I honestly have no idea what this guy is playing. I mean, his deck's really terrible. Um, as you can tell from his name, I violated the two rules of playing on Magic Workstation. So the first is, you don't play against a random. And, you know, in my defense, I was extremely bored, and nobody that I know was online. So, you know, online and available. So I decided, you know, whatever, I'll play against a random. Um, see how this works out. So, you know, I mean, in my defense, that's why I violated rule number one. You don't play against a random. Um, but then I don't really have a good excuse for violating rule number two, uh, which is no matter what, you never, ever, ever play against a player. And I violated that rule, and I'm really ashamed about it. And so here is uh, the video evidence of why this is a disaster. Anyway, so you saw me sack the land, like, a long time ago. Um, and then he's, like, just figuring out how landfall works, I guess. I don't, like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, this guy's playing some old cards, like, maybe he hasn't been around it for a while, but he knew how step links worked, like, he took the two, um, so he knew how landfall worked in that sense, but, I mean, I don't know. Okay, so, now he's got an Ankh of Mishra, so now my step links is basically useless, because every time I play a land, I'm going to take exactly as much damage, um, you know, as he's going to take. So, oh, what? Okay, so now that the Step Links is totally useless, he's going to sack his Mog Fanatic. So he could have avoided taking, like, four damage there if he had done it earlier. Or he could have, you know, kept a much better creature. Um, you know, at least waited for me to play a land first. I don't, I mean, I have no idea what this guy was thinking. Uh, that was the worst possible time to activate his Mog Fanatic, you know worst possible time. Um, anyway, I mean, so this is why this guy's a player. So he's playing crappy cards. Um, he is crappy. He's already made, like, a, a tragic play mistake that cost him four life. And in a matchup like this, it probably cost him, probably will end up costing him the game. Um, I, I mean, I'm assuming he's burned. I, I don't know. He plays some other crap. Um, so, you know, he's not, like, a competitive burn. If that thing, if competitive burn exists, this guy is not that. Um, so he skull clamps, skull scorch. Sorry, skull clamp would be actually a good card, um, and then he'd probably be a cheater. But um, at this point, I'd actually rather he play a skull clamp because then the game might be interesting. But uh, he plays a skull scorch. I have to read what it does, and then I choose to pitch the fire blast in the extra land. Whatever. I'm not gonna use the extra land. I don't want to fire blast him right now. Um, I figure I've got a faster clock than he does. And then uh, he plays a Mog Fanatic, and then he says, end my turn. For sure he says, end my turn. And then, so I take the turn, and then he's like, oh, during your upkeep, I'll kill your Grim Lava Mancer. So normally I would let him, like, take this back, but, I mean, this guy's such a noob. He's never going to learn if I let him take it back. So, you know, I'm going to make him take two. Bam, take two. By the way, again, the worst possible time. So he could have waited for me to... Um, he could have waited for me... Sorry, he could have waited for me to play out, um, you know, my attack step. Like, swing him. And then he could, like, block. And then sack it. So he would avoid taking three damage. But instead, he's, he's just content to take three damage. You know, whatever. Anyway, this is pretty much, like, the worst possible game. Like, I have no business winning this game. I mulliganed. I've got a Sylvan Library and a Prayer against a Mono Red, like, Burn deck. And then I'm now, like, suddenly way in the lead. So, he Skull Scorches. I mean, read the card again. So, it says, target player discards two cards at random. Um, sorry, the font's really small, so that's why it sounds like I'm retarded, like, hooked on phonics guy. Uh, target player discards two cards at random from his or her hand, unless that player has Skull Scorch, deal four damage to him or her. So, anyway, so I choose not to take four damage, so now it's on the 
discard two cards mode, and I try to discard as much as possible. I can't discard two cards, so Skull Scorch is nothing. And then, um, I guess we have some argument about that as he, like, figures out how to read, and that, like, that's obviously what the card does. Um, I mean, I don't know. So, this is why, I mean, I, I'm even typing this out to the guy, like, I know as I'm playing this game that I'm being such an idiot for clicking accept. There's no way I should have clicked accept. And then I'm like, this is why you don't accept games versus player. I mean, in my defense, um, I was waiting around for like two minutes to find a game, and I figured, like, what the hell, I'll just play against a player. Um, you know, it'll be fun. Um, it really wasn't fun. Uh, I don't recommend that you go through this horrible experience with anyone. So I, I, I spent like five minutes out of the goodness of my heart to explain to this guy, like, how to read. Um, you know, I don't get it. I mean, if you can't read the card, you probably can't read what I'm typing. But, whatever. Alright, so now I Rift Bolt. And so I'm thinking, like, alright, so he does know that I have a 3-3 three, three on the table. And that that would put him at 3 because 7 minus 4 is 3. And so, for sure he's going to die because he's tapped out. So I'm thinking, like, wait, maybe he has something, right? So I take the turn, and then I'm, like, doing my Sylvan Library and everything. Um, just to make sure that, you know, he doesn't have it, some kind of trick. And I'm, like, swing, and then he's, like, waits 20 seconds. Oh, minus three. Okay, I'm at zero. How about a GG, dude? Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I'll come back with uh, a more interesting video when I play against a more interesting opponent. Uh, see you guys later.